So I've had a few questions about what can be applied to bare bow shooting within the NTS system, the best method, or the KSL shot cycle. However, I think that it would be much easier to cover what isn't applicable to bare bow using that method because it, that list is way shorter. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery, and we're going to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. I'd appreciate it. So like I said, I've had a lot of questions asking me what can be applied to bare bow shooting using the NTS system or the NTS method. Like I've already said, I think it's much easier to just say what isn't applicable because a lot of it is. There really isn't that much difference between the two styles of shooting. So one major difference that is obvious between a bare bow and an Olympic style recurve, sight and stabilizers, and a clicker. Those are the three main, you know, technical things in the actual bow itself. But other than that, it's the same. It's still a recurve, there's still no let off, there's still no wall to pull against, and everything else is pretty much the same. Now the actual sight itself is replaced by your arrow because you're not shooting instinctive, you're shooting bare bow. There is no clicker, so that can't be solved. And you still have weights, uh, so you can still use some sort of a stabilizer technique to help hold you still. Now as far as technique goes, there's not a whole lot that actually changes. I mean, the stance stays the same, the posture stays the same, the alignment still the same, although you will have less ideal alignment with a bare bow due to the anchor position. Unless you use an anchor similar to what I do, which is nice and low and back. Um, you know, although you do trade off a bit of a deeper crawl and potentially a uh, limited point on um, placement, depending on your particular bow setup, your particular arrow setup, uh, etc. Because, you know, that low uh, anchor really really affects things so if you haven't seen my anchor my bare bow anchor yet I put a link in the description below plus a card at the top here where you can check out why I anchor the way I do with my bare bow real far back like this not very high and forward and a lot of that has to do with the alignment itself I find that I feel much more efficient when I'm in good alignment with a bad bare bow anchor everything honestly in the KSL shot cycle the NTS system is applicable all the way up until the anchor spot because anchor is different now loading people will ask well what about loading you don't load low to then anchor here yeah that's correct but loading is very very simply applied to bare bow by doing something like i do and i pull the bow back i lock into position i load and then i come into anchor so as i come through the draw cycle if i throw an arrow on for effect I will set up, load, anchor. So I'm loading with my body. So I'll describe to you my load position and how I get to loading with bare bow. I'm going to show you a video of me shooting because it's much easier than doing it in here due to the ceiling height limitations because I do lift the bow a bit. Plus this is a 72 inch bow and uh, it's not short. You'll see that right when I get to the lift, everything is the same from set set up and then loading i actually load a bit outside of my face and then i move my head towards my hand and move my hand towards my face at the same time to anchor but there's really no difference in loading other than it is slightly more around and back it is not necessarily down and in it is around and back but the idea and the principle of load that is applied to the nts system is still applicable to bare bow, meaning you are separating pulling the bow back from actually aiming. I'm still not aiming with my bare bow or my Olympic style recurve while I am pulling the bow back. Many push pull techniques start aiming much earlier than this, and uh, with a bare bow, it's pretty impossible, so there's no sense in doing it anyway. So that is similar in the actual loading, but not the actual position. The way that I am drawing the bow is still the same. I'm still pulling with my land two. I'm still using big bones and muscles to pull the bow back and using my core to pull the bow back. I'm not just pulling with my arm. So that's all still applicable. But the actual position of anchor is different and how I get to load to that anchor is different too. But like I said, 
I'm still making sure I set the barrel of the gun in setup position. I'm still leading with land two as I'm pulling back and I'm not aiming and I'm separating the drawing phase from the execution phase. Now, after that, everything still is pretty much the same other than there is no expansion, no execution, no whatever um, until the clicker clicks. But as I've described before a few times, how to help prevent creeping and collapsing with a bare bow is you still need to have some sort of expansion, some sort of added tension that you still add into the system while at full draw, while you're aiming to make sure that you don't collapse and creep. I'll put a link in the description for that video plus a card at the top here so you can check that out as well. So like I said, the actual differences in the NTS shot cycle are pretty limited. How you load the bow, but loading still exists and then where you anchor is different and you don't have an actual clicker to expand to, but you still expand and then you cut it release, you cut it loose, you release at some point, whatever your trigger is, you know, it's up to everybody and it's very individualized and different for everyone and I'm still working on finding mine anyway. To be honest, I haven't shot a whole lot with the bare bow. I'd like to shoot more, I just don't have time these days, but I will make more time to shoot the bare bow more often and I'm actually gonna shoot some rounds with them and see what kind of scores I can actually shoot. But um, other than that, those are really the only things that are not applicable to the NTS system, the best method, whatever you wanna call it, the KSL shot cycle to bare bow. Mentally, it's all the same. You still use the intensity shot cycle. You still use movements over muscles. You still want to make sure that you're using as much of your back as possible, although you still have some bicep tension. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's really not that different. Um, in my experience, the hand position and the grip, how I am expanding, moving around and behind me with my land two, controlling that bow arm towards where I want that arrow to go, um, the stance, the posture, the breathing cycle, everything. I mean, literally everything. It's just those three things. How you draw the bow back, how you anchor, and that there is no clicker to execute to, but you still expand. I mean, really, that's about it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider hitting the subscription button and the notification bell, as well as the like button. I would appreciate it. Also, please consider supporting my channel if you head to my website, jakekaminski.com. There'll be info and links on Patreon, apparel, books, and equipment sales, PayPal donate button, a PO box to send things to, and above all else, please share this video because there's no better advertising than word of mouth.